Finally, the Aerial Mineral Magnetic Survey over Karamoja rolls off this week following the arrival of the planes expected to capture the required data of quality, type and quantities of minerals in the region. With the new geophysical methods, we are using the aerospace surveys. We are able to, we want to resurvey Karamoja and be able to build our database for the mineral potential. And we believe once we do that, we may be able to discover even more minerals in Karamoja. The Chamber of Mines and Petroleum says this development, through which government is spending nearly 100 billion shillings in the Aerial Magnetic Survey, will be a major impetus in strengthening foreign capital investments into the country's mineral sector. You know, the mining industry is very difficult and it has been subdued during COVID and during the before COVID. Um, but as you know, minerals are going to be required throughout the life of man. Once we have now our, our information in place, our laws in place, now the thing is to market our country and to encourage Ugandans to participate in mining. Because Ugandans couldn't go into mining so blindly without information. Even then, the ongoing review of the mining law, depending on how fast it is undertaken, will have to deal with the contentious issue of land rights across the country, where mineral deposits lie. At what point shall we benefit? The marble in Moroto, I am told, is one of the best in the world. But the poverty in Karamoja is also one of the worst in the world. So there is just a paradox, a contradiction. So what is your ministry doing? Because we want to hear this in concrete terms. What we do in oil, whereby we go into a production sharing agreement. When you bring here your money to look for minerals, fine, and you discover them, we shall be able to deduct what you spent. Then what remains, the profit, we have to share a percentage, should remain with the government. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.